What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video and guys today we are going to go over top 5 snipe filters in NBA 2K20 and if you guys don't know if you didn't type in those locker codes make sure to type those locker codes in they're pretty pretty fire and yeah I pulled myself a Tim Duncan in the spotlight D Wade series bro if, it's a, if it was back then and I pulled that that is straight money of course he's worth nothing now but today top 5 snipe filters and I'm honestly hyped. I have a lot of MT finally. I sold some scraps and whatnot. And honestly, bro, there's a lot to talk about. A lot of really good snipe filters. And yeah, guys, if you are new, first off, thank you guys for 5K subs. You guys are goaded. We are grinding. We actually just gained 20 subs in about an hour. So you guys are goaded. If you guys are new, please drop that sub. Like the video. 120 likes on this video to give away some MT to a random subscriber on Xbox One. So please, bro. PS4 guys, I will get you something. I will. I will get you a PSN code sooner or later. Just please drop the like. It'll be greatly appreciated. And also, man, if you need MT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and also follow my Twitter down below. But yeah, besides that, man, I'm trying to get Galaxy Oval KD. So if you guys want Galaxy Oval KD, I got one filter for you that you should get him if you stay on it for a couple hours. If you have the patience and you have the time, if you're a young kid, you can't spend MT on the game bro i would recommend this filter personally i haven't got anything on it i've seen millions of snipes on it but yo i am just not that good at sniping i guess i'm more of an investment type of guy but bro if you do end up getting any galaxy obos on this filter you are gonna make mad mad mt so i'm trying to get myself kd uh if you guys are wondering what his price is he's at 485 um vince carter i just saw sell for 280 but then again of course he's back down Market's rising somewhat. If you guys do have cards, I would recommend. But yeah, this is probably one of the best snipe filters in this game, profit margin wise. Um, if you do get a snipe, you're literally, literally dubbing out. So I really wish you luck on this snipe filter. If you do get crazy snipes, tweet me, bro. Go follow me on Twitter, your boy, your bugs, bro. Literally, tweet me right away if you get a snipe on one of my filters. I'm about to show you. Please, I really beg. But yeah, next filter. Shout out to fourth quarter once again. This filter is straight cash. I mean, I've sniped out one thing on it. It was Aaron Gordon for 90k, flipped him for 120. Um, that's pretty 20k profit on this filter. If you guys don't know, man, on this filter, we do have Giannis, we do have Aaron Gordon, Zion, Williamson, and Kawhi Leonard. So if anything pops up on the buyout, it's straight cash. So I'm gonna show you who's on this filter if you don't believe me. Pink Diamond Moments. And uh, yeah, Aaron Gordon's up to 140. Giannis went up 100k. He's at 315. So he went up a lot. Zion's above 100k. He was at a buyout not too long ago. Aaron Gordon was on a buyout not too long ago. Kawhi was Kawhi's still really expensive. So as you can see, bro, this filter is really, really, really good. And honestly, bro, I really want Zion. I don't care what his stats are. I just want a freaking OP Zion. So this night filter right here is actually that good. I really do recommend you try it. I honestly, the other day, Aaron Gordon and whatnot were popping up like crazy. I would definitely try out the snipe filter. And also, I got another snipe filter for you. It's not really a filter. This is not really in the top five. But, yo, Clay Thompson is constantly going up and down. If you could somehow sell him or get him at the right time, you're going to make a lot of MT. Yesterday, I saw a ton up for 100K. And now he's back at like 120. Honestly, bro, you could honestly work if you have a lot of MT. You could work on the snipe filter and try to get Clay Thompson and also Westbrook. But yo, the Clay Thompson and Westbrook both 99 offense, 99 defense. I would definitely recommend trying to snipe them. And one other thing, one other snipe filter I would recommend. Honestly, it's pretty fire. Let me just test this out real quick. Uh, I think it's Prime Series Two. See, all right. So we got we got Katie, Perzingis, and Wade in here. So here we go. This is the method, honestly. You just go buy out Prime Series 2 and you filter between Galaxy Opal and Pink Diamond. Now, I think this is a very good filter. Why? Because it refreshes every time. You don't have to move any of your buyouts. It's very simple, straightforward, and honestly, 
instead of you going all the way down to the buyout, this could be a really good method. If anything pops up for the buyout, Wade or Przingis or Galaxy Oval KD, you will dub out. So there really is only three cards in this filter. It will be a lot better when more stuff drops. So I mean, when they drop more stuff in the set. But yeah, this filter is pretty solid. I've, I'm not going to lie, bro. A lot of these filters, bro, I'm not really a sniper. So I'm not going to say I got anything on these filters. But I know for a fact they're good because I do watch a lot of YouTube. And a lot of streamers and snipers do get a lot of cards off this. Especially Logic looks, bro. Like straight up, he's, he's a snipe god. I literally don't understand. He gets snipes every single day. I swear. And then there's just me. I literally, all I do is invest in diamonds and pink diamonds and sell them later. That's literally my main MT making method for you guys. Um, like I said, bro, Chauncey Billups, bro, he went up to eight, nine, eight, seven, eight k and I got a ton of them for 3 k I flipped them and made a lot of MT just off him. But yeah, try out this night filter. Let me know if it does work. I'm trying to get myself a KD. But yeah, next night filter. We got the diamond filter. If you guys don't know this one, pretty, pretty solid. Literally refreshing at diamonds. Very, very easy snipe filter. I really do recommend this one. Now, you could pretty much get anything on the snipe filter. Only flaws to it is if you get some Earl Monroe's and Donovan Mitchell's, I would try to stay away from them because they're actually only like 4K. They did rise up, though. For all you guys that did get Donovan Mitchell for the low low at about 2-ish, 3-ish K, he's actually looking like he's at 4 or 5K. So that's actually good news. He's actually really went up a lot. He went up about 2, 3K. If you picked up a ton of them, you're going to dub out. So what I recommend, put your max vid to whatever you want as long as it's a, above 4,700. And you want to just keep refreshing. Whatever pops up, you simply buy. But I would recommend try to stay away from Earl Monroe unless he is that cheap. But yeah, this filter is pretty good. And also, bro, I'm going to show you a low-cost night filter. This, this night filter is really low-cost. I really do recommend this filter. Um, definitely one of the top filters in this game. Honestly, quick, fast, easy. And bro, I'm going to show you one filter. It's not really a filter. It's just a method. Bro, try diamond sniping, bro. Diamond bit sniping has been one of the best ways to make MT in this game. I know the market is slower, but you can make a lot of MT off bit sniping. Like, for instance, I think that Paul George is kind of expensive. We're about to scope that out and see if that is worth a bit. If it is, I'm going to try to get him for you. So, yeah, that, that 30K Paul George is definitely worth the bid. So, we're going to go back to that in one minute. And we are going to try to snag this Paul George for you guys on the video. So in about two minutes, we will go back and try to snipe that Paul George out. But yo, one other filter I would recommend is definitely the Amethyst filter. This filter is the most consistent filter in the game, period. Honestly, I made a ton of MT off this filter. Why, bro? It's so quick. It's so simple. I guess the card you want to stay for away from is Reggie Jackson. But then again, you could invest in Reggie Jackson. This is a very good method. He has 97.90. He's 2K. Personally, I think he rises to 4K. I might pick up a ton of them, try to invest. And honestly, I'm going to pick up one for 1900 I think that's a really good price. Honestly, bro, he's that cheap. But what you want to do is set up your maximum bid to around this price. Whatever you want to do as long as it's above the buyout. And you want to just keep refreshing, bro. It's straight money. It's a really good method. I really hope you guys do get these snipes. And then we're going to check out on that Paul George, bro. We get that Paul George. We have a chance of making 10K profit. And honestly, hopefully we do get him right there. Reggie, but right there. Got a little snipe. Only 200 MT made. But if you keep him, you're going to make a lot of MT. This card is really good, bro. Like, he's a good card. I think he could rise to 3K. Honestly, bro, all these cards always rise. They never stay at this price. They always rise. Once they're out of packs, they're out of packs in a couple of days. But, yo, this Snipe Builder's fire. My favorite snipe filters is this one and the diamond filter, especially if you have low MT. Another one. Ah, I didn't get it. Unless that was just lag. But yo, definitely one of my favorite snipe filters. Let's see if we could get this Paul George. Let's go on a diamond filter and see what we could cop. Also, you could even pink diamond snipe. Uh, let's see. Ooh, buddy over 70 is not bad. He's like 85. Uh, let's see. Oh, it went up a lot. 42K. That's a big L. So... Whoever got that for 30k, 38k is gonna sell for 46 and make a solid like three to four k. So pretty solid. But yeah, that's really all I got for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy, bro. If you haven't noticed, I do post top five snipe filters every 
single day. I mean, every single Sunday. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one, guys. You guys are going. Peace.